welcome back to my channel or hello if you are new here my name is Emma I make YouTube videos I post every Sunday at 8 o'clock and Wednesdays at 1 o'clock during the summer so if you're not subscribed to my channel you can go down below and do that also I have an Instagram and the link will be down below so you should definitely go check that out so I like summer and I like summer clothes but I don't like spending money so here are a few ways that you guys can get summer clothes and clothes all year round for fairly cheap okay so the first thing is thrift stores. Now, I cannot tell you enough how much I love thrift stores. I did not think I was a thrift store person, but I guess it was that was about a month ago. My friend Aslan took me and we went out thrift short. Oh my gosh, why can I not say that word? Flashback to last week's video. Go to a thrift store. Store. Huh? Exactly. So I went to a thrift store with her and we went shopping at a few different thrift stores uh, including Goodwill and this place called Plato's Closet which I will get more into detail in a little bit but I found out that I love these places. They're incredible because some of them are more, uh, I think they're called consignment stores or consignment places where people bring in their old clo clothes and then they sell them to the companies rather than just giving them away like what you can do at Goodwill. And so they're higher end stuff, they're clean and things like that. So if you're kind of sketched out by like thrift stores and stuff like that, don't be. I'm sure that there are places all over the country that have nicer places like cleaner facilities, cleaner clothes and just better all around places. Okay, so this is also slightly a haul video because I purchased quite a few items when I went out thrift store shopping the other day. The very first thing is that one that I found. I am a person who likes to clean, as you can see. And I was in my mom's closet cleaning out some stuff or I don't honestly don't know what I was doing. This is a long time ago. This is like a year and a half ago, I think. And I came across these. If you can't tell what it is, they are overalls. I found these and I was like, oh my gosh, these are perfect. I love them. And so I would try them on and prance around the house, you know, as you do being a teenage girl. And I was like, oh my gosh, I need to wear these out in public. But like I said, this was a year and a half ago, I think. And I was like, nah, the world's not ready for this yet. I don't think I look mature enough. I think I look stupid. I kind of look like a cute farmer. I don't know. I feel kind of weird about this. But I came across them in my closet a couple of weeks ago and was like, oh my gosh, I completely forgot that I had these. So I put them back on. I tried on a few different shirts with it. And then I ended up wearing it a few different times around town recently. And then, um... I wore it in a vlog the other day, so if you've seen that vlog, then you've seen that. And I just think that that's a great thing. So I know that that one was kind of lucky on my part that my mom had something that I could fit into, but maybe you guys are like that. So the first thing is go to your relatives, go to your family, figure out if they have any clothes that they don't want or your friends or something like that. Because a lot of people outgrow their clothes or they don't like them anymore and they're still in really good shape. So the next place that I went to was the most magical place on earth. <laughs> Not really, it was not Disney World. It was Goodwill. If you're looking for some cute vintage looking kind of clothes, then go check out the Goodwill. As I mentioned before, if you've seen my vlog, then you've already seen a few of these. Or if you follow me on Instagram, you might have gotten a sneak peek of the next item I'm going to show you. Which would be a denim jacket. And it's just a normal denim jacket. I wanted to get patches for the back of it, which I only have one so far, so obviously there's nothing on the back of it right now. But I do have some cute pins on it. I have an E and then a pair of eyes. One of them shut, the other one's open. I think that's really cute. I found the pins at Hobby Lobby and they were $6 with the coupon that I had. And the patch was pretty cheap too because I had a coupon for Michael's there. Coupon? Coupon. I still don't know. Someone tell me, please. So the next item I got from Goodwill sounds kind of stupid to some people, but don't hate because I like it. I have been on Pinterest a lot looking at different trendy kind of clothes, like the more 80s, 80s and 90s kind of vibe thing that's bringing back or that's coming back now, except for fanny packs. I think that's stupid. Please don't get fanny packs. I don't like that. Anyway, um, so this next thing, mom jeans. I got some ripped mom jeans that I found at Goodwill. Goodwill. Goodwill had everything that day, it was perfect. So the next place is a store called Plato's Closet. And I've seen a couple around in different places. I don't know if they have them all across the country, but you could definitely check that out if you wanted to look more into that. 
but I will just like to share a few of the items that I bought. So this first thing that I have is this dress that I'm wearing right here. So it's just black with those accents of white in it and I think it's very summery and very cute. Granted, also, a lot of the things that I picked out at these different places are really dark, but that's just because I like more darker colors, and even though it's summer, I haven't really gotten into the bright colors yet. I mean, white here and there, but not like bright. The next thing is this shirt, and I really like it. It's adorable. Now, there's a story behind this one. If you can see, it has different woodland creatures on it. There's an owl, there's a bunny, I think there's a deer somewhere. It says on the tag that it's from Old Navy and it, I found it at Plato's Closet so obviously someone brought it in and then that happened, all that stuff. But it says it's from Old Navy and a few years ago I was at Old Navy and I saw this shirt and I was like, hey, I kind of like that, that's cute. And I put it back because I ended up thinking, I get into this weird mindset, especially when I was younger, that I can't wear these clothes that I want to wear because I'm not cool enough, I'm not old enough, I don't look mature enough for this stuff. So I put it back. And I regretted it for a long time and this probably sounds stupid because it's just a shirt, but it's kind of deeper than that to where I wanted to wear different things but then decided that I was like not going to do that because I didn't think I was good enough or whatever. But somehow this shirt made its way back to me and I could not be happier. I think it's adorable. I like it. It looks cute with my overalls. So I'm very happy with this purchase. Oh, and it was like $3 or something, so that's fantastic. Where it used to be like 27 or something when I first found it a couple years ago, so woo! So you never know what you're gonna find. And also you can find some really nice brand stuff like that was Old Navy. Old Navy's pretty great. So the last item of clothing that I'm going to show you that I got from Plato's Closet is this adorable black skirt. I go to private school and we're required to wear uniforms to school and I've been looking for different skirts and stuff to wear to school that has to be a certain length and a certain color and this is perfect for it. I've tried, I tried it on in the store and it was the correct length and it's black so it's one of my school colors so it's fantastic for that. I don't think I'm going to be wearing it in the summer too much because it's very fall looking but I'm excited that I got it and again I think it was only like two or three dollars which is a fantastic purchase for how great this looked on me and how like quality material it is I guess. Oh! Oh! I didn't even look at the tag! It's from Gap! Gap is expensive guys! Okay. <laughs> so that is everything for this video. If you enjoyed it and it was helpful then please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're not down below. Also like I said before my Instagram name will be in the description box so if you want to you should go check that out. And also if you feel like leaving a comment then definitely do that. I want to hear what you guys have to say about my videos, my channel as a whole, and different things like that. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!